Hello, welcome to Chess with Chris. Um, we are playing against Baskek. What do I want to do against E4? Um, I guess I can play Sicilian. All right, the bishop first. Um, I could do this. I could play my knight out and then play this later. I think I'll play them a knight first. Um, I can also do this, actually. Or play this knight out first. Let's play this knight. <clears throat> I still want to be flexible with my pawns. I'm not sure what to do um, yet based against what he's doing. Um, I like ideas of moving my, both, my, both of my bishops this way. Because um, if I... If I uh, if I move this pawn up, this bishop doesn't have much of a future over here. Um, so I'm thinking these two pawn moves now. So let's start with this one. Get castled. Um Yep. Okay. Um I kinda wanna fight back in the center here. Um with my bishop pointing this way. Um like yeah, you know, I'm thinking like this. Because my bishop now, you know, doesn't really have much, where, much to go, so I'll just save him back here and then fight in the center. So let's go, let's go like that. He's pinned my knight. So actually, now I can't move here because my knight's pinned. Um. So I could break the pin by loosening my king, but his king hasn't even castled on this side yet. So I don't want to. I don't want to loosen my structure when he could still castle queen side. Um, so let's let's just wait a little bit. Maybe I'll expand on the queen side. Okay, he's wanting to trade here. I'm fine with that. Um, let's continue with this plan. All right. He's still not castled yet. I don't think I don't think this is right to like like if he moves here uh, I would really think for a while to, to see how to take advantage of the fact that this king is still in the center while he's you know starting to attack over here. Um, like maybe even sacking a pawn coming up this way is fine. Oh, but once his bishop moves, actually, uh, this this move isn't dangerous anymore because the knight's not pinned. Um, so he's he's looking to play f4. So let's um, let's play in the. Do we do this now? We can we can do this now, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, except for this is still pinned. But the fact he's lost control of these two squares. Put my knight up here. It doesn't really threaten anything, but it what it does is it helps my bishop support this d d five move. So I like this. So if he plays here, I'm going to play here. Okay, so I, th I think I'm still going to play here. 
I don't know. Like the reason I wanted to open up the center was because his king was still in the center. So maybe I need to reevaluate that now. Um, oh, you know what? He has this move now. That's that's not good. I need to defend against that. Um, he had that move last time, last game, or last move also. So I yeah, he, he just missed that. I could move my queen here. Unpinning the knight, or I could like advance this pawn to defend. But I, I really want to play this move eventually, so I think um, I think moving my queen is the better option. I can also consider now like moving my bishop here. If he doesn't ever play f4, which I assume he will within the next couple of moves, especially if I did a move like this. I don't know, but if he plays f4, I could go here threatening to come in this way. Playing f4 kind of makes this a hole, weakens the square a lot. Okay, so he's not going for that. Um, so what is this? He's gonna play on the queen side now? this I'm not worried about that at all okay so I think I still want to move here to play this hey, he's playing on the wrong side of the board he should be he should be attacking my king um, I think if I go here and he plays g4 that's kind of a victory all in itself so I'm happy to just come back yeah, so let's go here. Let's start moving faster. Let's use our increment. Three seconds every move. <clears throat> okay, so he's challenging my knight. Um, I think I want to t take his knight with check. So that feels better. Like, if he moves here, what do I do? Oh, I'm not worried about that at all. I can just take here with check. I can take it as knight. That doesn't really feel like it helps. Maybe I just come back here to block the bishop. He plays here. No, that's fine. All right, let's trade off. I'm just up a piece. He can play here. Yeah, so at this point, you know, I've got the material. I just got to survive his counterplay. Um, oh, yeah, you just trade this off. This is good. I feel like he's playing too fast now. Like, he should just slow down and play good moves. Uh, no, I got to be concerned. No, F4, I take his pawn. Yeah. Go ahead and pre move there. Yeah, I don't know why he's trading down. <laughs> I'm up a piece. He can come in here. What would I do then? Maybe just play this move. Okay, so I'll just uh, maybe I just defend here. No. Oh, what do I do? I can play this. It loses this pawn. Um. Well, I'm gonna lose this pawn. Oh, I'll just trade in here. I'll just take his pawn. He takes my pawn. That's fine. Okay, and let's challenge the rook. And pre-move the recapture. Now my knight's not pinned anymore.
Okay. Trade this. It's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and move my knight. Threaten his bishop. Actually, yeah, his bishop is really short on squares. Yeah, I, th I think I could maybe just win this bishop. He can't go here. He can't go here. Oh, wait. Yeah, he can't go here. Oh, that's just... Okay. Yeah, he could have gone here, I think. All right, well, he's had enough. Uh, Okay, well, that was a... I don't know. It's not a very satisfying win, right? Because he just gave me his pieces, but... Um, a win is a win. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next time.